consonant mutation is concerned with consonants which have voiced and unvoiced equivalents. Let's take a look at voiced and unvoiced consonants in Turkish. Unvoiced consonants are P, Ç, T, K, F, S, Ş, H. Voiced consonants are B, C, D, yumuşak G and B, C, D, yumuşak G are the voiced equivalents of P, Ç, T, K. Here is what we need to know. In Turkish, when a word ends in consonant, most of the time it is the unvoiced form of the letter. Let's take a look at this word. Kitap, kitap, and it means book. When we add a suffix that begins with a vowel to this word, the last P changes into it is voiced counterpart. For this example, I'm going to use the possessive suffix for the first singular person. The word is kitap and we add the suffix. It is um. Just because the suffix begins with a vowel, the last P changes into B and all word becomes kitabım, kitabım, which means my book. The overall reason for this is pronunciation of kitabım, kitabım is much easier than saying kitapım, kitapım. You can try this by yourself as well. In Turkish, the spelling must reflect this change for the rules of the phonetics to function. Another example could be with this word köpek, köpek, which means dog. If you want to say, I gave food to the dog, in Turkish it is köpeğe yemek verdim. Köpeğe yemek verdim. When the word köpek receives the suffix e, the last k changes into yumuşak g, which is the voiced counterpart of k. Another example word that we can use is tat, tat, which means taste. If you want to say it is taste is very bad, in Turkish it is Onun tadı çok kötü. Onun tadı çok kötü. As you see again, the last T of the word tat changes into D, which is the voiced counterpart of T. We have another rule concerning consonant mutation, and it occurs in this condition. You have a word that ends with an unvoiced consonant and you want to add a suffix to this word. And in this case, the suffix begins with a consonant. The rule is, in this case, the suffix that you want to add cannot start with a voiced consonant. It must be changed into it is unvoiced counterpart. Now, let's take a look at a couple of example words for this condition. Kitap, kitap, which means book. Ağaç, ağaç, which means tree. Bilet, bilet, which means ticket. Yatak, yatak, which means bed. Office, office, which means office. Sabah, sabah, which means morning. To make the examples clear, I'm going to use three different suffixes which begin with a voiced consonant. And these are C, DAN, DE suffixes. If we want to add the suffix C to kitap, J in the suffix must change 
into che, which is it is unvoiced counterpart. So it becomes kitab chi, kitab chi, which means bookshop. If you want to add suffix dan to arch, de in the suffix must change to te, which is it is unvoiced counterpart. So it becomes arch tan, arch tan, which means from the tree. If you want to add the suffix de to office, de in the suffix must change to te, which is it is unvoiced counterpart. And it becomes office te, office te, which means in the office. Maybe you have already realized I have written the suffixes in a way that complies with the vowel harmony rules for these example words. Please be aware that when you add a suffix to a word, both vowel harmony and consonant mutation concepts must be applied. Now I would like to mention a special case. If a word ends like this, k directly changes to g, only because it is not really possible to utter this sound. And in addition to that, a vowel. Here's an example for this special case. Rank, rank, and this means color. If you want to say or color, then we say rengimiz. Rengimiz. And in general, single syllable words do not change their last unvoiced consonants in line with this rule. For example, at, at, which means horse. If you want to say, I'm riding a horse, in Turkish it is, atabiniyorum. Atabiniyorum. As you see, the last T remains the same. Another example could be süt, süt, which means milk. If you want to say, give me the milk, please, in Turkish it is, lütfen bana sütü ver, lütfen bana sütü ver. As you see, the last T again remains the same. However, please also know that there are actually single syllable words that comply with this rule. Before the end of this video, I would like to mention once again that you are going to see vowel harmony and consonant mutation everywhere and every time. And most of the time, you will see both of them together in the same word. A couple of minutes ago, I presented an example. Aç, aç means tree. Açtan, açtan means from the tree. This suffix has actually two forms for vowel harmony. Dan, den. Since a is the last vowel in the word aç, it must receive the suffix dan. And since arch ends with che, which is an unvoiced consonant, de in the suffix must change into te, which is it is unvoiced counterpart. So the suffix dan should change to tan due to consonant mutation. So the suffix word becomes Arch tan, arch tan, which means from the tree. I really recommend you to go through this lesson and the previous vowel harmony lessons and look into online resources as well for details. It is very important to grasp these concepts of Turkish language together with suffixation, which I'm going to cover in one of the next videos. Thank you very much again for your time. See you in the next video.